now. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Richard from MLB Baseball Blogs. I'm joined here by Justin from MLB Baseball Blogs. Uh, here to talk a little bit about the recent extensions of young, studded pitchers, uh, Clay Buckles and Trevor Cahill. What's going on, Justin? Yo, what's up, man? I just heard about these contracts. Clay Buckles got his contract today. Trevor Cahill, I think it was a little bit over the weekend or maybe last week. Um, so today we're going to talk to you guys about this contract extension from both of these great phenomenal young pitchers. Um, Richard, for let's start off with Trevor Cahill. What's his contract? What's his contract extension about? Uh, well, his contract extension hasn't been confirmed yet, but there's a lot of room, there's rumors that it's going to definitely be worth more guaranteed money than Brett Anderson's extension, which was for twelve point um, five million. Twelve point five million, yeah. But then they're saying that it might be like the Ricky Romero five-year, thirty million dollar deal. Which uh, I mean, if you can lock up both Fred Anderson and Trevor Cahill for like six million dollars a year on both of these young studs, that, I mean, you got to see out there. Um, but I think that uh, the A's and I think Billy Bean's a great GM, and he he's been known for locking up young talent. Yeah, um, Trevor Cahill. This guy is a really great, phenomenal young athlete. I mean. Last season he had a great great season, 18 and 8 with a point with a 2.97 ERA, and he had a massive amount of strikeouts, 118. This guy is just waiting for that contract extension. He's going to be at A for quite a while. The the year on the contract has not been confirmed yet, but it's going to be more than Brett Anderson's contract. Uh, Tim, our co-host Tim, he comes on the show. Uh, every so often, he said that Trevor Cahill is going to be the Cy Young winner this year. Richard, is he your Cy Young winner this year? I don't think so. Um, this is the American League. Remember, you got guys like CC Spathia, David Price, John Wester, uh, Felix Hernandez. Even uh, I mean, there's just so many great pitchers. Even Jared Weaver, uh, very underrated. Uh, you know, I just don't think he can compete with these forces of the American League. Yeah. Um, Trevor Cahill, he's yeah, he's a great phenomenal athlete, still young, but he could he's a great athlete. He can improve in some places, but he's a phenomenal athlete. This guy has everything that there is to be a top pitcher. Um, I don't think he's gonna be the Cy Young winner just yet. The tools from last season, this guy was phenomenal. He could be in Cy Young talks maybe later on in his career. But right now, at this current spot, with the AL having like John Lester, CC Sabathia, David Price, guys like you said, it's going to be highly unlikely that Trevor Cahill's name could be in there. I mean, it could if he can really raise some eyebrows on some pitchers and some some teams. Um, he could possibly be it. So um, Trevor Cahill's contract is going to be a bigger contract than Brett Anderson's deal. I mean, this A squad has a nice pitching rotation. Gio Gonzalez, Dallas Braden, Brett Anderson. And now adding Trevor Cahill as the ace of the squad, that guy is going to be really carrying that pitching rotation. So, Richard, we have the next pitching, ro uh, the next contract extension from the Boston Red Sox, Clay Buckles. Tell us about his contract extension. Yeah, Clay Buckles, uh, 26 years old, having a career season last year, he won 17 and 7 with an AI low, 2.33 ERA, and uh, recorded 120 Ks over and over 170 innings of work. Buckles is actually the fifth player in the past 25 years to have the lowest ERA in the American League and not win the Cy Young. Um, however, I don't think that Buckles will be in the Cy Young race this year or probably ever. Um, there's a new sabermetric stat that was uh, created by Tom Tango. It's called a FIP, which stands for um, Fielding Independent Pitching. And that looks at the results of the pitcher directly, like his home runs, his strikeouts, and walks. And based on that, he had an ERA equivalent to 3.61. Um, he's a pretty high fly ball rate. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I know it's pretty up there. Um, and being a Fenway, that's very scary. I still think he's a great pitcher, but don't expect another 2.33 ERA season out of Buckles. Um, the breakdown of this contract, uh, next year he'll make $3.5 million. 2013, he'll make 5.5 million. 2014, he'll make 7.7 .7 million. 
2015, he'll make 12 million, and his two club options, in which he'll make 13 million and 13.5 million respectively. Um, this could take him all the way up until the age of 32. Um, and his contract is worth uh, 29.945 million over the next four seasons. Yeah. Uh, you pretty much summed up all the contract talk, so I can't really say anything. I can, can't throw really much anything in there, but except talk about his stats like so far this year. He has two outings, one at Texas Rangers. He lost both endings. He lost against the Texas Rangers and the New York Yankees. Um, in his first outing against the Texas Rangers, he has three strikeouts. He gave up two walks, gave up four earned runs, he gave up five hits, and he had 6.1 innings of work. And then when the Yankees came into town, and the Yankees had his start was against the Yankees, and he lost that one. Um, he gave up. He had two strikeouts, gave up three walks, four earned runs, and eight hits. He only pitched three point two innings of work. I mean, this guy. I don't think this guy will ever be like. I have to agree with you, Richard. I mean, this guy will probably won't ever ever be in the uh, Cy Young talks because I don't know how. I, I just don't think he, he can be in Cy Young talks as of yet. Um, because he's still a young athlete. Both of these, Trevor Cahill and Clay Buckles, are really, really great young athletes. But, um, like you said, I, I don't really see that Buckles can be in the Cy Young race as of yet. But he could probably raise eyebrows in the future. Um, this t last season in Boston, this guy was 17-7 and with a 2.33 ERA. I mean, that was a terrific season. So, uh, Richard, who has the better outing out of the two contracts? Would you rather take Trevor Cahill over Buckles? Or would you rather think Buckles over Trevor Cahill? I'll take Cahill. Because uh, I, I, I don't really like the Buckles contract breakdown. He's going to make more money at the end of this contract. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think that you can give him a little bit more money up front uh, to come off a great season. Um, but I think that the I think that Billy Bean, uh, the Oakland Athletics GM, wins it again. He can score Cahill with only 23 to a five-year, $30 million deal and take him into his prime and have them be their ace for five years. That's incredible. Only six million dollars a year for an ace? Uh, I don't know. I, I like Billy Bean a lot. He's made a lot of bonehead contracts. He's also made a lot of good ones. Um, he's locked up guys like Brett Anderson. He might be locking up Gio Gonzalez next. This is a great young staff, and I think they're going to be one of the best staffs in the American League this season. Yeah. So who do you think will win Cy Young? Buckles or Trevor Cahill? Who will win the Cy Young out of these two? If it came down to them two, I'd say that Cahill probably would. Um, his, uh, he has a better K rate. Uh, actually, no, he does not have a better K rate, sorry. But I just think that, uh, I just think that, uh, Cahill just has better stuff. And that might sound like a, that might sound, that might sound like a lame, um, a lame reason, but this guy's a horse. 200 innings. Uh, Buckles didn't quite make it there. I just think that KL is a, a better pitcher when it comes right down to it. Yeah, I have to agree with you on this one. Um, Trevor Cahill has the better has better skill. Well, the but Trevor Cahill is the workhorse of that squad. The Boston, you have Josh Beck. You got John Lesser. Clay Buckholz is just like right there in the middle of their pitching rotation at number three. Uh, or maybe number four. I don't know what position he's at in the rotation. So uh, I think the better contract here, I have to give it to Trevor Cahill. So um, there you go, guys. There is the contract extension talks for both Clay Buckholz and Trevor Cahill. Boston Red Sox, Clay Buckholz, and Oakland Athletics, Trevor Cahill. You um, guys, oh, you got what's something to say, Richard? Yeah, I just one more thing. Sorry, I just came across this. Uh, I was looking on Fangraphs, and 9.5 percent of Buckles is fly balls were home runs, so that's something to think about. Yeah, so that's another thing to think about for Clay Buckholz. Um, so there you go, guys. Once again, the contract extensions for both Clay Buckholz and uh, Trevor Cahill. Uh, who has the better outing, Trevor Big Cahill or will it be Clay Buckholz? I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your weekend, watch some baseball, and have a great week.